Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another PGA and Co. Destiny 2 video. Today is Friday, October 27th, 2017, which means it is Zer Day. So he's back and this week he is on IO because that's where the flashpoint is. So jumping on over to IO, you can see him right in the back here over in Giant Scar. So spawn yourself in, we'll head over there. So as we're heading over there, let's talk about last week. How did things go? And it's interesting enough, we're getting to the point where Zer's not that helpful for people. So thank you to everybody that provided us with data last week. Um, if you guys want to help us out again this week, don't forget to throw down in the comments below or uh, we've got a straw poll going on that's just down there that uh, will give you can say what you've purchased from him. But yeah, so last week, 50% of you got nothing. 30% got Winter's Guile and 20% got Sweet Build because nobody picked up the Radiant Flux and nobody picked up the Dew Plane Pauldron. So only the new stuff came through, which is very interesting. But what do we have this week? This week we have Dun 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 Darcy! The Data Analysis Reconnaissance Cooperative Intelligence Device. Make a dollar C. So this is a exotic sniper rifle, guys. The main perk on it is the it can aim at enemy to view its health and other critical information. The, uh, when personal assistance is active, the weapon has better target acquisition and deals more precision damage. So all in all, it's, um, not amazing. I mean, it's, it, the, the additional precision damage is pretty solid, but, uh, I just find snipers a little underwhelming in the current, uh, current meta right now. Um, Darcy's fun though. It's got a little bit of talking to you. It looks kind of interesting. Of course, it's got the weapon attack mod on it. So that's the first one. It's kind of, I, I call it kind of a... If you like snipers, pick it up, but it's not like you have to get it. Um, for the Hunter, we have the Knucklehead Radar. This is the second time it's shown up in three weeks. Woo! Stupid, stupid, stupid. So this just gives you the upgraded sensor pack, so while you get radar while aiming, which can be great for PvP, or if you're a little swamped in PvE, resilience and health recovery are the two options, and this has an impact absorption mod on it this week, which is the same mod as last time. Nothing fancy. So for the Titan, we have a new one available this week. This is the Actium War Rig. And this gives you the main perk of auto-loading the link. It steadily reloads a portion of your equipped auto rifles, magazines from reserves, increased resilience and health recovery. And this one comes with the uh, power munition loader, in, which is improves your reload speed of power weapons. This one, I would say, is a definite pickup. Um, it's actually probably one of my favorite Titan exotics currently in the game it pairs especially well with sweet business which i hope you all picked up last week because why the hell not um hunter shot minigun that's auto reloading as you're firing <laughs> drools um and auto rifles are just strong in the meta right now so getting those extra shots in there even in pvp can be fantastic and uh, help you outgun your opponents and then for the warlock we have the eye of another world which is a new one for Zer as well though you do have a chance of getting this from the uh Quest as you go, or the story missions as you go through, so a lot of you probably do have it. And this one is Cere Cerebral Uplink. Highlights priority targets, improves regeneration speed of your grenade, melee, and rift abilities. And you can do mobility or health recovery with this one. And this one also has an impact absorption mod. Um, this one I like. It's kind of a good all-around uh, exotic just because it does give you those... I mean, highlighting priority targets can help you in both PvP and PvE. And the fact that your um, grenade melee and rift abilities are back faster it just means you've got more in your arsenal available at all times. So, a good one up there. It's kind of good for any of the classes where some of the other ones are a little pigeonholing into, yeah, you got to be a Void Lock to make that one work, or you got to be a sun, um, your Dawn Blade. So, that's what he's got this week, guys. Don't forget, throw it down in the comments, or grab the snorrel pole down below. Tell us what you're getting. I love seeing the data and seeing what the most popular stuff is. My guess this week is Neckled Radar is going to be bringing up the bottom end of things and uh, i hope the action rigged as well but i'm guessing it'll probably be darcy because people people like to pick up those weapons um but i'm also a little tight and biased watch that uh but yeah guys and as always if you enjoyed this don't forget to smash that like button and sub the channel for updates when our new content goes live we always love hearing from you guys and uh yeah thank you very much for watching we'll catch you all next time Bye.